Boys, what's up? And today we've been blessed with two trailers. One for Candy Diver Cookie as well as Squid Ink. And the second for the BTS collab. We're going to hop into both of these trailers right now. Then we're going to go in the game, check the patch notes out, read over them, and we're going to talk about this update right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe. It would really help the channel out, grow the channel, bump the numbers up. Anyways, guys, we're going to hop right into the trailer now. Alright, guys, so hopping straight into the first trailer here with Candy Diver Cookie and, uh, and Squid Ink Cookie here. It looks like he speaks a different language, as you can see from the subtitles on screen. He picked up uh, what looks to be like a shard from the Black Pearl Islands event. Now he's mining. Oh my gosh, it's Minecraft. He found a chest! A Black Pearl chest! I hope he has some Black Pearl keys. Oh, squidding behind him! He's running. He's on it. He's running away. Candy Diver Cookie. Let's see what Candy Diver does. Alright, so it looks like... Okay, he goes under. Okay, I'm still trying to... Okay, buffs, he heals. It looks like he heals. Well, there's a new effect. Okay, I saw that. We're gonna go back slow mo through the video. I saw a new effect he does. He goes under, so that means he can be has he has eye frames. Oh shiny. Oh yes, give squid and get the candy. This for me? Yes, it's for you. Okay. Wah 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 okay, so more attacks it looks like maybe. That's not really much we got from that right there. Okay, let's go back through it now. Let's go back through some parts now. So it looks like he's getting an attack up, a defense up, a little ghost thing, and I can't tell what the other buff is. He's getting that buff, so I, I can't really tell what that is, though. So I guess we'll check the patch notes for that. So from what I can tell here, it looks like maybe Squid Ink just hits more. That's about as much as I can tell, but we'll check the patch notes for that as well. Looks pretty cool though. Candy Diver looks like he could be absolutely busted, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, now we are on to the BTS collab video. Ayo, number five. Okay, number four. Okay. We all get little little rockers. Yeah, we're gonna go to the concert. Yeah, dude. Oh shit. They're having a concert. I hope we can play with them. Hopefully it's not copium. BTS on stage. Cookie Run Kingdom. Oh my god, is this going to be a stage event? I don't know about this one, Chief. Alright, okay. So that didn't really tell us too much, guys. That really didn't tell us too much at all. Alright, guys. We're going to hop into the game and check the patch notes out. Alright, guys. So starting off with Candy Diver Cookie. Uh, judging from what I can read from the skill here, uh, he seems kind of like a Claire because he does do his regular attacks will lower the defense of the nearest enemy and also amplify the damage they receive like Eclair. Also, he heals and gives buffs to your team, but the buffs he gives is dependent on the amplified buff stat. So it's like a, uh, like a, like a random chance of what buffs he gives because he gives random buffs, which I don't know how good that will be. Let's just see when he gets into the game what those rates look like with the amplified buff stat. Um, he could end up being absolutely busted. Also, he's immune to damage. Uh, or enemy attacks uh, whenever he is wandering to sea, which is really cool. But we'll have to wait and see what the Amplify buff actually can do as far as giving buffs out and what those buffs really do. So he is going to receive the Safeguard ability. Cookies with the Safeguard ability cannot be attacked in battle, nor can they be defeated. Okay, really big, really big actually. As Cookies who are Safeguard do not have HP stat, they will not be included in calculating average HP in certain battle modes. The survival of Cookies with a Safeguard ability will not affect the results of the battle. If all cookies other than the cookie with safeguard have fallen, the battle will automatically end. Oh. And you can only have one cookie with safeguard on the team. So, if that cookie is in safeguard mode, while you're, the rest of your team dies, then you lose. Then you just automatically lose. Which is kind of sussy, but we'll see how it turns out. Seems like an interesting mechanic for sure. So, with Squid Ink, it doesn't look like that much of a change. Basically, they're adding a debuff that reduces the defense of enemies, except on bosses. Uh, and then they're going to do more tentacle slaps. Now, they do do extra damage against people already inflicted with a defense reduction debuff. So, that would be interesting to see uh, how long this actually works. So, maybe Dark Cow could work really well for a team like this because he inflicts the defense down, the defense reduction debuff. So, that would be really interesting. Also, Captain Caviar, too. Uh, so, I, it's going to be interesting teams we see with Squid Ink, I think. Uh, we're going to have to see the scaling, though, of what they're actually going to do with, with like how, how the ability works. Oh, I've been waiting for this, guys. This is going to allow us, essentially, to check all of the all of the productions at one time, essentially. Uh, which is really nice. It's a Sugar Dome Laboratory upgrade. Uh, basically, what you can do... 
You can set up production queues, cancel productions, expand slots and dashboard just like you would by going to each building. Uh, you can see the total production time of each building from the dashboard. You can use speed ups. And with the produce all feature, basically what it's going to allow you to do is allow you to prioritize what you want to get done. With one click of the button, you have all your production going. So it gives you the options of prioritize items with the lowest stock first. So whatever the, like you're like really low, really low on stock on, they'll automatically go and produce those items for you. Then you can prioritize items with the shortest production time. So like all like your like your jellies. If you like like say you're daily grinding, right? Just on the game, might as well just hit that. Get all the quickest things done so you can farm up faster. That's really cool. Prioritize with the longest production time. So that means when you get off for the day, you can hit that. Produce everything with the longest production time. I think that's really huge. It's gonna simplify the the the, the like. This is gonna simplify production a lot more for us, and I can't wait to see this in the game. Also, they're adding in in-game ad rewards. So basically, if you watch an ad, you can speed up. If you watch an ad, you can get an extra free gift from that gotcha. Uh, basically, you can watch ads to get crystal rainbows, cubes, topping pieces, everything like that. It can do that three times a day, which is. Pretty good, nice, I guess. I mean, I probably won't watch the ads, but for free-to-play players, definitely a big step up for you guys. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think on this update. How do you think this update is gonna pan out? How do you feel about squidding, getting a candy, and squidding stability and candy diver cookie, and also the BTS collab? Leave them in the comments below. Join the Discord too; we can discuss it in there as well. And also, I stream every day at 2 p.m. CST, boys. So, guys, let me know what you think on this update uh, in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye, bye.